Winnipeg-based Canadian singer Kat Yonke will be serenading the town of Maidstone tonight. She's a pop folk artist and she's making her way through Western Canada. Whitney Stinson has the details on what to expect from tonight's show. I picked an apple for you. Yankee was actually born right here in Lloydminster and spent the first three years of her life in Maidstone. She lives in Winnipeg now and is happy to be playing to her home crowd tonight. I'm going to be playing guitar and piano, so that'll be kind of cool. I'll switch between instruments, maybe a little bit of ukulele. We'll see if I'm feeling feisty. Uh, and I didn't bring my kazoo, but I'll be uh, singing the kazoo part, so that's what you can expect. Let's do what is. Her latest album is called The Stories Are Taking Their Toll, and she's been getting some international attention for it. Her hit song Apple has been chosen as a theme song for the NBC web series Control. And last year, she was a semi-finalist in the International Songwriting Competition. It's not straight-ahead folk music. It's really quite quirky and strange. And so I think it's just normal enough that you can relate to it, but it's got a little bit of weirdness in it so that it kind of keeps you guessing as you're listening. Touring with her is Claire Riley Rowe, a folk reggae artist. They met through Claire's husband, who suggested the New Yorker go on a traditional Canadian tour. Canadians are, are amazing everywhere. They're quiet and very attentive, and they actually listen to what you're saying. I live in New York, and... People don't really pay attention like how Canadians do, so it's really nice to be able to, you know, play your music in front of people that actually pay attention and, and talk to you about your song, so that's a great experience. It makes you a lot more nervous, I will say that, but uh, it's just warm and welcoming. In exchange, Riley Rowe will be taking Yankee on tour with her in the United States later this year. Yankee says she's expecting shorter drives and bigger cities from that leg of their journey, but overall, it'll just be business as usual. People who like music are, you know, kind of universal, so I hope that uh, I just feel at home everywhere I go, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Whitney Stinson, New Cap News. Their show starts at 8 o'clock tonight in the Maidstone Legion Club room. The SPCA wants to thank all the volunteers that made Friendship Flower Day such a great success. And they also want to remind everyone that their Adopt Me, Adopt My Shadow for Free program is still on because they're packed full of cats. Jennifer and Allison give us more on that, plus introduce us to one energetic puppy and a very curious cat. Hi and welcome to this week's Pet Project. I'm at the Lloydminster and District SPCA with Jennifer and this is Spud. Yes, Spud is a year and a half old Australian Shepherd Newfoundland cross. He will need to be neutered and get his rabies vaccination. He's definitely all puppy. He needs somebody that will have the time and energy to devote to training and learning a lot of manners for him. But he wants to please so bad. You, he just loves people, as you can see. Just wants to please them. He was brought in by the City of Lloyd bylaw officer, which means he can't be adopted back into the City of Lloyd. But I think he would do wonderful as an acreage dog or out on a farm outside of Lloydminster. And this is Vanity, right? Yes, Vanity is a four-month-old domestic short hair. She will need to be spayed when she's old enough and get a rabies vaccine, but you get a free vet exam every time you adopt a cat from the SPCA. Uh, she's a typical kitten. She loves to play, explore, do a lot of different things. Um, I think she would do really well with any type of a family as she is so young. She just needs a lot of socializing at this point, but she's a really sweet, energetic kitten. So Jennifer, last week you had your Friendship Flower Day. How did it go? It was a great event. We had so much fun. Just want to say thank you to all the volunteers that came out. They worked their butts off that day, uh, becoming florists for the SPCA. And a big thank you to Growers Direct as well. Um, also wanted to let you know that we still have our Adopt Me, Adopt My Shadow for Free program on with the cats. We have an overwhelming number of cats at the shelter here right now. So that's a program where you adopt one cat, you get the second cat for free. Perfect, so stop by and take a look. They have a great variety of cats, and thanks for joining us on this week's Pet Project. The Pet Project is sponsored by Quick Pick Waste Disposal. Locally owned and operated and serving urban, rural, and industrial customers in Lloydminster and region.